Good evening, everybody, and welcome to St. Mark's as we celebrate the 30th Sunday of Ordinary Time. Um, as you know, our Mass is being live streamed uh, this evening, so welcome all those who are joining us on our live stream. If you have a kneeler in front of you, uh, that is your own kneeler. If you don't have a kneeler in front of you, it's the kneeler behind your own seat, so you're only touching your own seat. And then as far as offertory is concerned, there is no passing of an offertory basket, uh, but there is an offertory bin on your way out for anything you can do to support our mission here at St. Mark's. And for those joining us on live stream, you can send in your donation to St. Mark's Church at 1 South Road in Londonderry, New Hampshire, or sign up for WeShare, which is on our website, stmarksnh.org, for your one-time or your continual donation. And thank you all of you for being here as we celebrate the 30th Sunday of Ordinary Time. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to St. Mark the Evangelist Parish. Please stand at this time. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. As we gather today, celebrating our Lord's resurrection, we take a moment and acknowledge our sins to prepare ourselves to enter into these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Jesus. 
and let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Exodus. Thus says the Lord, you shall not molest or oppress an alien, for you were once aliens yourselves in the land of Egypt. You shall not wrong any widow or orphan. If ever you wrong them and they cry out to me, I will surely hear their cry. My wrath will flare up and I will kill you with the sword. Then your own wives will be widows and your children orphans. If you lend money to one of your poor neighbors among my people, you shall not act like an extortioner towards him by demanding interest from him. If you take your neighbor's cloak as a pledge, you shall return it to him before sunset, for this cloak of his is the only covering he has for his body. What else has he to sleep in? If he cries out to me, I will hear him, for I am compassionate. The word of the Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, you know what sort of people were among you for your sake, and you became imitators of us and of the Lord, receiving the word in great affliction with joy from the Holy Spirit, so that you became a model for all the believers in Macedonia and in Achaia. For from you the word of the Lord has sounded forth not only in Macedonia and in Achaia, but in every place your faith in God has gone forth, so that we have no need to say anything. For they themselves openly declare about us what sort of reception we had among you, and how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God and to await his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, Jesus, who delivers us from the coming wrath. The word of the Lord. Hallelujah. 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a scholar of the law, tested him by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets defend on these two commandments. The Gospel of the Lord. The greatest of the commandments is, in fact, the two commandments, the commandments of loving God and of loving neighbor. Now, a few years ago, I was kind of on a Facebook kick, and, you know, you try to look up everybody you went to elementary school with and see what they're doing now, and, you know, I grew up since then. I don't do that anymore. Um, But anyway... (laughs) But I remember looking at uh, this, of course, young woman's page now, and um, we all went to Catholic school. Well, her Facebook post was very kind of anti-Catholic, and it was like one of these cartoony type of things. There were four kind of cartoon pictures. The first was an old lady at church kneeling down praying her rosary. That was the first picture, you know, saying, you know, I love you, God. Thank you for making me such a wonderful person, blah, 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 blah. The second picture was her cutting somebody off in traffic and yelling at them. And then the third picture was her sitting at a restaurant and seeing like a couple off in the distance and the thought bubble was basically like, like basically judging their relationship without even knowing them. And then the last one I think was, um, I don't know, tripping somebody in the supermarket or something. Well, the whole point of this whole thing was basically this whole fact that yes, we can say that we love, our, love God with all of our heart, mind, and soul. But what does the next three bubbles look like? What do the next three cartoons look like in our life? I think that's a good thing to ask ourselves because, again, how do people perceive us? What is our conduct life once we leave here? It isn't all about kneeling down and praying, which is a wonderful thing, and that develops our relationship with God, but that should be overflowing in everything we do. Yeah, it was a cartoon rendition, and apparently this girl must have had some bad dealings with some Catholics who you know, said that they were Catholic and all holy, but she didn't actually experience that in real life, and who knows if that caused her to distance away from the church or whatnot. Um, I went to the post office uh, the other day in, here in Londonderry, and I was carrying a big box, and there was another lady coming in, and I was like, well, I'm going to do the chivalrous thing and, you know, open the door for this lady. I'm not saying this to blow smoke, so believe me. So I let her in, and she was like, well, thank you, kind sir, and she goes in line, and there's probably a good... I'd say 10 people in line that day. It was really kind of ridiculous. Well, waited a while, and I finally got in to enter into the, the main part of the post office, and the lady is waiting for me there, and she refused to move forward until I went ahead of her because she realized that I let her in, and you know, she said, you're such a gentleman. And I said, I know. No. <laughs> no, but it was, it was just such a, a kind gesture because I, I didn't expect that because the line was so long, and she went out of her way for somebody who went out of the way. It was just, I I thought it was just kind of cool. But I hope that the other two cartoon boxes in my life were were that or or maybe somebody saw something different in my life. But I think it's just a good reflection for us as people look at our lives. Yes, we're here right now. We're worshiping. We're praising God with all our heart, mind, and soul. But what are the next three cartoons? If we really look at our lives, are we too tired to even notice somebody else out there? Are we too tired to notice that there, there might be somebody in the supermarket that might just need a smile or somebody to, to have the door held for them or to reach out and make a phone call? Or do we just become self-centered after we leave here? Hopefully that's not the case because there are many people out there that need Christ, that need a smile, that need care and compassion. And hopefully that's us. So homework is you have to draw cartoons and you need to email me. And No, I'm kidding. No, but just, just think in your mind of what your life is, is truly about once you leave here. And hopefully it emulates love of God, but also love of neighbor. And we stand together. And as one family in faith, we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, 
the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life for the world to come. Amen. And in trust and confidence, we bring our prayers and petitions to the Lord. The prayers and the petitions aren't here. They aren't here. <laughs> okay, <No>. so <laughs> we nailed it today. That's, we that's nailed great. it. Okay. Well, we pray for, for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for all church leaders that they promote peace, justice, and mercy throughout the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all government leaders, especially as we uh, enter into election season, uh, that we also pray for all voters. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the dignity and the respect of all life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of the sick, for all of the suffering, and for all of the lonely. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for the dead and for all that die today, especially for the intention of this Mass, that they be welcomed to newness of life in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for all those prayers on our prayer line and for the prayers that we voice in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask all of these things through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. of this Mass that we are praying for this evening during this Eucharist is for Kay uh, Rodell. Brothers and sisters, pray that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. 
Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory, that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity, and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time that he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we spread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Peter, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with Saint Mark, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we pray together the words that Jesus taught us. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are they who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
I cannot stand, I'll fall on you. Jesus, you're my hope and stay. Lord, I need you. Oh, I need you. Every hour, I need you. My one defense, my righteousness, oh God. Till 
whisper in the dark, the dark, as I know you're more than my salvation. Without you, I am hopeless. Tell me who you are. You are the keeper of my heart. And I'm restless, I'm restless till I rest in you. Till I rest in you. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs we may one, pos- one day possess in truth, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And if you have taken a stocking, uh, the stockings for soldiers, uh, they are due back here tomorrow. If for some reason it's not here tomorrow, I guess you can bring it at Monday, maybe, Diane. So Monday to the office, and just give us a call, and we'll take it from you. Uh, so thanks. Um, and if you haven't taken a stocking and you want to run to the store and bring it back tomorrow, uh, there are still some stockings in the back. And again, they go to the all that protect our freedom, uh, so they have something uh, that they know that we're thinking of them uh, when it comes to the holiday season. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Have a very wonderful week, everyone, and God bless. This day God gives me strength of high heaven, sun and moon shining, flame in my heart, flashing of light.
you, Jane. Thank <laughs> you. 